Hello guys, President Bola Metinubo is in trouble. Nigerian bishop, Catholic bishop, they don't rise in anger. They don't talk, say, if you don't want to do it, they, they won't tell her now, say, make it do. Wait it, they go do. Eh? He himself not go believe him. You understand? They are very, very angry. We are talking about the condition of Nigerians, the situation Nigerians have found themselves today. Because it be like, say, these politicians, they don't understand. Because they are not in the shoes of Nigerians. They know they feel the pains Nigerians are feeling. Now it made them just they look like, oh, things are okay. Now, this Nigerian Catholic bishop, when don't rise up like this, against President Bola Maitinubu, don't forget, say, not be only them, even for Muslim side. Those imams, they don't still, they don't still rise up against President Bola Maitinubu. Uh, traditional worshippers, they don't still rise up against President Bola Maitinubu. So, this is just like forces against one person. You get. And this will make him to understand, say, things are not okay. Because if someone in the north, someone in the south, southeast, someone in the south, south, someone in the southwest is saying the same thing, that means that something is wrong. Even God, when God, they make some decisions, sometimes when he look at his children like this, he will get pity for them. He will reverse some certain decisions. We don't see those ones like that from Bible. So why is it that President Bola Metinubu do not want to listen to Nigerians? Everything Nigerians they talk, you know, one listen. The one when he just talk, now it happen. Is that democracy government? This 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 one now. The government is now for Tunubu, for Tunubu, and for his family in Tunubu. That is just the government. Nigerians are going through hell. They don't make plenty plenty suggestions that we make this country, you know, a uh, move. No, he he does not listen because. Things are not done that way. Now, people put it for there. Say you say that people elect you. So you listen to people who elect you there, who elected you there. You are supposed to be the servant of the people. You listen to them. You listen to them and do what they are saying. That is how it's supposed to be. But for this matter like this, not be so with the same for Nigeria. Well, the Catholic Bishop Conference of Nigeria. CBCN yesterday called for a return to regional government saying 25 years of a presidential system was not beneficial to the country. Besides, they lamented the alarming rate of corruption in Nigeria. The huge debt burden, they said, could be cleared by stolen money uh, touched away by the politicians in foreign countries and the issue of hunger in the land. The bishop stated this at the opening ceremony of the second CBCN plenary meeting in Awuchi, Edo State. In his welcome address, the president of the CBCN, Archbishop Lucas Ugoji, also criticized the killings in the recent and bad governance protest, which it agreed went violent. Contrary to the original plans, but insisted that it was wrong for anybody to prevent Nigerians from protesting in fulfillment of their constitutional rights. He also lamented the recent kidnap in Utokbo, uh, Benue, Utokbo, Benue State of some Catholic medical students at the University of Joss and Medugri, respectively. Ugoje said, the social economic problems of our nation are unmistake, unmistakably beyond what economic reforms alone can effectively resolve. So no matter how well thought out and how meticulously implemented, when all is said and done, we must admit that the cost of running our military imposed presidential system of government with no with so many elected officials assisted by numerous support staff is staggering and not sustainable. We must also acknowledge that the corruption level of many Nigerian politicians have gone beyond scale and measure and that controlling our national resources at the federal government level creates more opportunities for corruption to flourish. 
having experimented with the presidential system of government for over 25 years and having grouped in the dark in search, in search of solutions to our social economic problems now seems to be the opportunity to uh, the appointed time to heed the advice of some of our best minds conversing for return to the former regional system of government as envisaged by the wise founding fathers of our nation or devolve power to the present six geopolitical zones. He said, the current reforms of President Bola Tinubu's administration were similar to the Structural Adjustment Program, SAP, of General Ibrahim Babangida, blocked by the International Monetary Fund, IMF, which did not work. So now, not only President Bola Tinubu and it's correct, not they understand, say, the matter for Nigeria, you know, they will care again because the corruption in Nigeria has taken another dimension. Yes, the poverty, unemployment, hardship, everything, you don't double like 100 times. The question is, are these people ready to do the needful? That is the question. Make a drop out for you. Kindly drop your comments below the comment section. Please don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Thank you and bye for now.